Welcome Legends fans, it's your boy Beaky and it's time to get back to basics. What I mean by this, well as somebody who played Legends for almost every day for well over a year, going away from the game for weeks at a time like I recently did really has messed up my sense of what's happening with the game. I wasn't following on Reddit, Twitter, I just haven't been keeping up with all the latest news, patch notes and so on and so forth. So of course the meta has changed and the game has changed and that means that my decks are definitely not going to be performing as well as they used to. And this is actually something I'm definitely willing to do to keep things interesting for me. I'm going to go ahead and delete all my deck and build something that I feel like will bring me back to what I know basically of Elder Scrolls Legends. The core concept that I like to use when I'm building a deck when I know nothing about well, what's going on in the meta because I just stepped away for a little while. It's just something I feel like that works and could counteract every situation. But first thing first, let's go ahead and just simply delete the decks I had so far. So this was recently a scout deck that I made that was in um, a random deck challenge. Um, I think there's probably a, there's even a, yeah there's a new way to delete decks now isn't there yeah the X button so select it so here we go we could select decks I thought it would have been easy if we could select multiple decks to delete so I'm gonna literally legitimately delete all these decks and then we're gonna go into making a brand new deck but I can talk about the deck that I'm gonna be making right now while I delete these decks so when I say getting back to basics for me it needs to be a deck that actually has the ability to win quickly and fast so that means it's gonna be an aggro deck so because if you reduce your opponent's health to zero in most cases I mean there are ways to prevent that now you're gonna win the match I mean there's the exalted creatures nowadays that prevent you prevent you from losing in those situations if they become exalted at the right time um, there is uh, that uh, willpower card, the support, which are uh, the mechanor's heart. So even if you get down, if you get to zero, you're gonna come right back. So there are ways for you to survive even when you know you get your health all the way down to zero. But still, I'm gonna go on the concept that most players are not gonna be playing those cards because those are cards that just prevent you from winning the match instead of trying to win the match. So let me just go back and delete all my decks. And what I'm gonna be thinking about making here is a battle mage deck. Reason for that, I think a battle mage deck is a good for new players and for players that have stepped away from the game. If you step from the, away from the game, Battle Mage has a lot of core concept, lightning bolts, fire bolts, a lot of easy prophecy creatures, shackle creatures from harpies, um, shrieking harpies that make you be able to control the battlefield. So you could go super aggro, you could try to control it, you could play a very flexible with a Battle Mage type of deck. You could go to item Battle Mage, you could do prophecy Battle Mage. You know, there's a lot of different options. And of course, with the new cards in the game, you could even probably add even more options to that. But I always like making Battle Mage decks because I think it's an easy way to get into the game, um, have a lot of counters to so a lot of different things that are available in the game from my experience. And I think even with new cards being added to the game, and I may not know all the new meta tricks with Nyx and maybe even more crazy things that have happened after Nyx, um, the House of the Groth, or maybe everything's super aggro, maybe things have gone back to Scouts being the strongest. I really just don't know, but I think these types of decks usually, if they start off correctly with the right hand, could really go the way they need to go to win the matches to get you where you need to go. And as you guys see, I've made a lot of decks over these years, and a lot of them have been a lot of fun, but I feel like starting fresh is a good way to go forward and help me grow, and definitely, actually shout out to a lot of players out there that may not be playing Legends as much as used to as well, and think about doing this. Like, if you feel like your decks are not working, you feel like it's not working out for you, well, think about starting fresh. Think about all the cards you have available to you and make a deck that you feel that is just fun, back to basics, and make you enjoy the game. Sometimes trying to modify a deck that you already have built and trying to get that one deck to work the right way against every type of other type of deck just doesn't work out. And in the end, if you just make the game fun for you, it'll keep you playing longer than anything else. And that's why I used to love um, deck like the one you just see like right here, like Bad Fun Dragon Mount um, Ramp Deck. So this deck is about ramping your Magicka up to as quickly as possible to play Dragon Mount and just have fun with Dragon Mount and drawing out random dragons. I say it's a bad deck because in in sense it's a bad deck for ramp, but it's a, so much fun to play because drawing out all the wins after all the wins, or you know drawing out big dragons and just like, having them work is kind of fun when it does actually work to a point where you could ramp up and then draw out Dragon Mount. But as Dragon Mount is only one card in the you know one support in a big deck of 50 cards, I made that deck before we could have up to 100 cards in the deck. So a lot of these decks here too don't, never even had the option of having 100 cards, and I don't. Even know what people are doing with the 75 card to 100 card meta right now i don't know if there's a big push to have 75 card decks or have a 100 card decks just with two attributes i really don't know 
So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start building a deck. With the explanation, let's go to Battle Mage. So, like I said, back to the basics, some of the most basics and simple cards in the game that just simply work. Lightning Bolt. Like, you know, plain and simple prophecy, Lightning Bolt is great for damage, great card, it does its job, it's cool. Schemer. Used to, this card used to even be more powerful, it used to be a 4-1, but this card ability to draw you out cards is excellent. Let's go down to two drops. For me, the two drop that's always been reliable and does a job is Shrieking Harpy. And already I already have a bunch of prophecies in there, which are just generally pretty good cards. So that's a good little start right there to have some cards to uh, push ahead and see how those are going to work out for me. And then we can start thinking about where do we want to go from here. So I'm going to go ahead into Firebolt. I might take those out, but that's what I'm going to put in right now just as a starting out deck. And we'll move on from there. Now I do remember there are some new cards out right now that I actually do think are pretty darn good. Like I, I personally like her right here, um, Defender, but I'm not going to say for a fact I'm going to put her in there yet. So we'll just keep going with um, what else I want to put in here. I want to look through the cards. And then we'll decide on exactly what we might want to keep, might want to remove. But I just want to get some cards in there. That's how I like to do the stuff. Get cards in there. Then we'll decide on what we're going to move, keep, and then move from there. So let's see how we want to play this. Because, of course, you want to have a win condition. Is your win condition going to be controlling? Or are you just going to be poking your opponent little by little? what's your late game going to be like there's a lot of different options like even with her she's a really good new card but does she work with the type of deck i'm going to be trying to make and i'm i'm going to say right now she's not a back to basis type card she's not the type of card that i would personally try to throw in there instantly but this like him right here dealing five damage comes out it's been pretty useful this is a new card um but this is one of those new cards that I, I just had a lot of good luck with. And I think the ability that giving your self ward in a 5-4 has been pretty good. And I think two of these will be pretty nice. I don't think you need to have three of them in your deck at the moment. And I could be playing to Atromancer to get some um, effect out of her. If we could survive that long. We might come back to her real quick, but let's go into red. So here we are. Let's try to get uh, this deck into a place where we could actually win a match. So with that being said, how would I like to play this? I'm just going to look through things real quick before I decide on exactly everything I need to do to win. Okay, so recently add, added card, but good card to keep control, remove supports. Like you need cards that give you a lot of, if you don't know what the meta is, you need cards that could just respond to a lot of situation. Simple card, remove supports without having to have an action that does this. Firebolts, remove creatures without having to have an um, action that does that. Um, if I wanted to silence a creature, I could be putting Earthbound Spinner, but right now at four drops, we already have a significant amount. We have nine already, and we don't want to, um, you know, uh, fill the deck too much with those type of cards just yet. That's just not what I want to do at the current moment. For Rally, Rally is one of those new effects that I don't mind. Actually, we're going to go, instead of Firebolt, we're going to go with Rapid Shot. Rapid Shot could be a removal or just be the right thing we need in this situation. The keep, keeping cards in our hand keeps us healthy. So I like that right there. So we only have six, okay. Now we're gonna start going aggro now. So I'm thinking about what I wanna do. Gatekeeper, because we have a fairly good amount of prophecy so far. We're going to go Raiding Party. Because we're not going to have a significant amount of guards, but we do have some. We're going to try to make the best out of them. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get our standard issue orc. So we have 12 on the prophecy lanes. So we got 24, 18 on strength. I kind of want to play cast out. Cast out's going to be very versatile. But Northern, out, Northern Wind Outpost could be really, really good. Super good in the right position, you know. But we're not playing all red. It's just not that type of deck. I think going into cast out could just help us deal with some situations that we're just not going to be expecting. And it's not even that this is going to be the right deck. It's just something I think back to basics. Just simple things. We could do a lot of damage. We could remove creatures. We could draw cards. Just we could deal with the shackle prophecy. We have lots of options here. And that's kind of what I want from a deck like this. I want to have the options to deal with the scenario depending on what my opponent might be playing. Good standard card. Alright, yeah, that gives me enough to actually play out. That gives me 29. I was just making sure I had enough to actually play into. Because I'm tr I'm trying to think what why why I pause right there. It's because Outpost has been upgraded to uh, 3 Magicka. And it used to be like an auto include for me. But now that it's 3 Magicka. Northern Wind Outpost. I'm like. It's a little bit more expensive. As a strategy it slows things down. So you have to think about stuff like that. change up a little bit. Let's drop you down to two. Drop this. It's probably a lot of late game in here. So we have more removals of creatures. I'd like to cast out a two. Giant. Yeah. So there you go, guys. So, all right. So in concept, this is why I made this as my first deck returning to Legends that I'm going to try on rank, try wherever. Another fire bands, you can use it to remove creatures. They can get powered up by the outposts. I'm only going to run two outposts as they cost um, three now. Probably should run three, whatever. Gatekeeper's a prophecy, rocking with all 14 prophecies in here. I could have went for a full prophecy deck, but I don't want to do that right now. I just want to have a little bit more flexibility, see what people are playing, play a bunch of matches fairly quickly. I could have put in like Fate Weaver if I was playing even really heavy prophecies. Giant. This seems like just a still strong card. It hasn't been nerfed to hell or anything. You know, summon a creature in this lane or destroy an enemy support. That seems pretty damn good. Um, Karna could deal an extra 5 damage. He has the ability to give us ward protecting ourselves because we're not playing a heavy amount of guards there. Lightning Bolt does what Lightning Bolt does. Keeps cards in our hands. Removes support. Steal 1 damage. Gives us more creatures in our hand. We already know what that does. Maddie Ally just works pretty well with the 33 red creatures in this deck. Freaking Harpy. Well, does what Shrieping Harpy does. Shackle Creatures right here. Daggerfall Mage could give us those tomes to get more cards, keep our hand in our hand healthy, and probably keep out some defensive for some creatures. Um, Protector, Guard, Prophecy, or Clan Captain, we all know what he does. Fairly simple. Rapid Shot, keep cards in our hand, could remove creatures, combos with this. So there you go. Battle Mage deck, we'll just keep it at that. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That has been a deck build that I made coming back. Does it suck? Yeah, maybe not, but I like I like decks like this. I like decks that just work quickly, get you back into the game. I'm ranked 12. I haven't played in such a long time that my rank has just reset back to 12. Like I haven't been ranked 12 in I couldn't even tell you like the last time I've been ranked down. You know, after so many years, I guess it is years at this point playing the game, being at rank five at the reset every single month. That I don't I don't even know what the monthly reward card is. Like that's insane for me. 
probably the first time I've never known what it is. So let's jump into a match and see where this takes us. Not knowing what the monthly reward card is. Let me say hello to my opponent. Oh, this is my friend. I know this person. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Well met, Marsh friend. Hey, bro. <laughs> That's funny. My first match after returning to Legends after a month or so away from the game. That's so funny. <laughs> nah. That's so funny. First match back and I find somebody on my fresh list for list in rank. Ha! What's the odds? What is the odds? So, my opponent is playing Scout. I don't feel like sacrificing this into that. And uh, I wish I was playing a different deck. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I just made this deck. <laughs> worry. I just made this deck. First time. Even testament. This is what I love. I love the community aspect of Legends, man. People are so nice. Wow, it's interesting play. Well, same here? Okay, same here. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Am I going to be beaten by my own subscribers? <laughs> Twitch followers? We will have to find out real soon. It's keeping me on my guard very well. Close ranks, let nothing through. You guys might wonder why did I play that in the left lane. If my opponent's going to play a big creature, I want to bait them into the left lane. And then play this in the right lane, if They've possible. No move we can't anticipate. Interesting. Them having more power. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so we're about to get wrecked by scouts. Follow me, man. So we got Bannerman. So we should be seeing some Drain Bat <laughs> recycling soon. What have we here? We'll see how this goes. So we already seen Lethal here doing a good job of defending his life point and keeping cards in his hand and putting creatures out. Give him no options with that one. If a big guard comes here, I can return the guard using giant. I don't think my whole my let I don't think my uh, side is gonna be shackled. I don't envision that happening. And I was right. Here comes the word wall into the dream. I mean the um. I was going to say Dream Vitality, but... Into, oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, I did say it. Damn, I've been away that long. Yeah, it is Dream Vitality. Duh. 
<laughs> some reason I thought it was called something else. I'm like, my brain's like messing up. Like, yeah, it's strange talent. Dude. My scales move in shadow. Close ranks, let nothing through. Your blood will spill. Iskramor. And we're gonna do. Let's get rid of that. I know that gives him an option to take it back from the graveyard, but let's get rid of that. I still have the card advantage right now. And I have the field advantage. If he used Soul Tear, Soul Tear still takes a lot of work. Wow. Nicely done. Talk about me being very happy that I removed Shadow Priest. Because he would have been able to silence the Gatekeeper into an attack right hint here into Ward Crafter. But this is what I love. This is what I love right here. Because this gives me so many options. Aggro as this is, gives me options. Honor and blood. We stand united. Is Gramor! Your blood will spill! Perhaps we can help one another. How does my opponent deal with this? Do I get shackled right here by red? <sighs> Let's see. I will keep Sotha Sil's people Sotha alive. Sil. Okay, so throw something back in your deck, draw more cards. Good strategy. But you still have to deal with my 15 damage on the right lane. So you need a powerful guard or you need a way to stop. Just wipe this lane out with a Drain Vitality. They go Giant Bat. Can't use double, I uh, can't use Soul Tear into the other Giant Bat. So predictable. Okay. Health game there. I'm still rocking 17 damage on field. So he used um, Galen on Giant Bat. Galen, Galen, whatever. I don't. I don't care. I say it whichever way it doesn't. Matter. So Galen is there. So if I would assume getting rid of the war here will be the smartest thing to do. Shadow. Yeah. I'm hoping he just put something powerful down that I can just return to his hand. The waters of life. Okay. Not something powerful, but something I can Whatever return. Here. Man, the amount of hard draw is unbelievable. Come at me! Iskramor! <sighs> Sorry it had to come to this. All right, so lots of things right now. Big old dragon could wipe me out right now. And I had to play out my giant, so I lost the ability to unsummon a creature. But I'm very powerful in both lanes. So he could go for the soul tear into drain bat and gain you know, a significant amount of health. shadow. So there we go. Oh no, Soul Tear is only level one, so it's not significant yet. It's only two. 
But this is a like you know the salty combo is into giant bat is like so classic it's unbelievable. Seems like it's something that's never gonna be removed from Legends. It's anything anytime soon. Did he get another if he got another five if he got a giant bat at five five I'm just unlucky as hell. Like if that's what he has right now I am unlucky. The waters of life. Repel the Outlanders. Oh, that's game. By the egg, a fine battle. Is A hard-fought victory. Sorry, it had to come to And this. that's why I put rapid shots. Whew. Could remove a card, or it could give you a card. So that's just there you go, guys. That's just my idea for basic starting battle mage deck. Interesting that I fought somebody I knew. Um, I just wanted to play a deck that I think is back to basics. It has the removals, it has a uh, shackle, it has a lot of different ways to counteract different things. Played against a scout, a very slower type deck. It may not work against another really heavy prophecy or heavy aggro deck, but if I'm gonna start my journey back into Legends, this is just a good base. And then I can start looking at the newer cards, the House of the Tagroth, the Tavani cards, different cards to add into this to make a triple attribute battle mage and go from there and improve on this. But I just wanted to put in something that I was comfortable with and start off with to make the game enjoyable for my, me again to jump back into rank, to come from rank 12 back down into something I've been, you know, almost back to Legends, which I haven't been in a while, which I'm not sure if I'm going to try to do for this month because this month is already on day 13 and I'm just starting up right now. So let me just thank HS for the match. I'm glad that I was able to fight somebody I knew at least. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why I don't add people, well, my friend list is just broken. Like if I if I delete this friend request, right, I just get I instantly get another friend request. Um, I don't think you guys see it pop up, but I'll try to show it to you. So let's say I delete one friend request from somebody. I'm just gonna instantly get another friend request, and this is why I can't do tournaments because it's just all broken. Thanks. Let me let them know that this video will be on YouTube on Tuesday. But what the hell did that do? <laughs> so I would love to chat with and add more people, but then I have to delete people from the friend list. It's, it's, a, it's a weird one. Evil, evil Woozy Bear, awesome person as well. Mac Window. Like, it's cool that I actually know you guys by names and I've talked to you guys and remember conversation. What the hell? Come on, thing. Why you guys keep quite. Why does it keep kicking it away? Okay. Wait, do I not click on it? Look, I'm going to click into the box. Whatever, I'll just start writing. I'll have the video about this deck up on Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Should I say Tuesday or Wednesday? Let me see. I'll say Tuesday. I'll say Tuesday. So I'll say Tuesday. Because Tuesday is when I usually do my deck build videos anyway. So this would be a good day to do it. So if you guys haven't heard already, I'm going to definitely be keep doing Legends videos. Mondays will be like my random deck challenge. Tuesdays will be something to do with deck building. We'll keep on building decks going forward. Um, Wednesday, I think that just might be like a midday off. Um, Thursday is Tamriel. Thursdays. Uh, we're going to be playing Elder Scrolls uh, Tamriel online or Skyrim, something to do with Tamriel. And then Friday's Fallout, I'll be doing something with Fallout there on the channel. Don't worry, Legends content will be still coming throughout the week. Anytime there's a new update to the game, new news, I'll still be doing my Legends news videos. And every now and then I'll just pop out for like a discussion videos. And I might throw some of those up on Saturdays and Sundays. So discussion videos will be going up there just talking about what I think about the game, what I think about what's happening with the game, and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Have you ever thought about deleting a lot of your decks to start fresh because of whatever's happening with you in the game currently? Because I definitely have done it, done it before. I've deleted a bunch of my decks. Just said like, you know what? I need to start over and approach a game from a different perspective to keep the game fun for me. Till next time, peace the heck out. May the hiss aid you.